Pennsylvania. Eyewitness News at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Candace Kelly. And I'm Andy Mahalshik. Nick Toma has this night off. Do you remember the craze of Cabbage Patch Kid dolls in the 1980s? Well, part of that madness took place right here in Wilkes-Barre. And Candace, now there's a new documentary featuring the craze. And 2822 News reporter Ai Jain tells us more about it 40 years ago. That's what it looks like one morning in November of 1983 at Zayers in Wilkes-Barre. All of this chaos is over Cabbage Patch Kids, a doll that was famous in the 80s. It all started with my mother asking me if I would help her get one of the dolls for my little sister. Stout, who is now the executive director of the Luzerne County Visitors Bureau, remembers that day very well. Stout went to the store that morning, not knowing what he would witness would become a part of pop culture history. He says, as he and his mom waited outside the doors to open, the crowd seemed calm and some were even friendly. When we got there, everybody was real nice and you know, it was a long wait. You're outside and you're waiting for hours and everybody's talking about somebody in their family who wanted one of these dolls. When the doors opened, this mild-mannered, cordial group of people lost their minds. Shocked was the least to describe how Stout felt. And he starts trying to fend people off with a baseball bat and he just starts throwing these dolls out over the ground. <laughs> so they're bopping off of people's hands and you know people are going on the floor and wrestling and trying to pull them out of each other's arms. They did not leave with a doll that day but days later his mom was able to get one for his sister at another location. His sister still has the doll. Years later, Stout is part of a new documentary about the billion dollar industry and the dark side of the toy's history. My mom has since passed, and so I thought about her. I thought how she would probably really be getting a big kick out of it. And how, honestly, if she was still here, when the filmmakers reached out to me, I may have just said, well, why don't you talk to my mom? You know, she was there too. I kind of felt I was representing both of us in telling our story. And we're told that Alan tells us they never got the doll, they didn't get involved in the fights, and he and his mom left the store empty-handed. In other